Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Uh, I just want to do a quick video about the Celtics versus the Nets uh, game one of the playoffs. I know it's been a while since we've done any sports videos, but playoffs are here for, for the basketball. So uh, we've been kind of watching the Celtics all year. So it's really interesting to see how they've, been, they've come back to life, so to speak. So the first half of the season, they were awful. They didn't even think they were going to make the, make the playoffs. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, yesterday there was, it was a thrill of a game. Uh, went back and forth, the, you know, pretty much the entire game. I didn't know who was going to win. Boston blew up. I think they had their biggest lead was 12 points, I think. I'm trying to remember. But they, but they blew that lead, and then the Nets, you know, went ahead. And they kind of went back and forth from there. Uh, I wasn't sure if the Celtics were going to pull out this one. I thought they, the Nets might have, were going to end up winning it in the end because I think they were just playing playing better. Toward the end, the defense of the Celtics, though, was unbelievable. The, you know, they think they, were, they have... Uh, What's his name? Kevin Durant. Yeah, uh, he didn't. He, they they held him. You know, his score pretty low, and it was mostly just Tatum and, and, and Irving that did predominantly most of the score for both teams. Um, I thought this game went exactly how I figured it was going to be a close game, especially where Irving can play every game now. He's not missing it. I think it was just Durant. I think it, it. I don't think it would be as close as it, you know as it was. But also, they also also missed most of the name, Robert Williams. Yeah, I don't know when he's supposed to be back. I think they said uh, the second round of the playoffs. I think he he's eligible to return, but it all pretty he what he yeah, torn it, something it in his torn team. meniscus, but it, it might have been a mild tear, and that so now they said maybe he would come back in the sixth game or the seventh game of the series. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I think someone's gonna be smart enough if they, you know to keep him out. There's no point in risking further injury or making it worse, like let him fully heal and. If that's if they get past the Nets, I know a lot of people are saying that you know I've heard the Nets in, in seven, but I've also heard the Celtics in six. Uh, I I can't make any prediction. It's just the Robert Williams was playing. I would say that the Celtics are going to win the series, but without him, it's going to be you know be a lot tougher. Uh, but their defense played well yesterday. I mean, they, even though they were at home and they still only won by one point, so I could show that they are very closely. What do you call it? Skill wise, both teams yeah. are very, I think are very close. But this is like the big match of the of the first round. That's that's what I think. I think both teams are really good. They both have a lot of talent. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, so I, I it's gonna be definitely like a dog fight, I think, the entire series. I don't think anybody's gonna blow the other team out. Um, between the Nets and their offense and the Celtics and the defense and, and I just think it's gonna be too close to even call who's gonna win the win the series overall. I have no idea. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's obviously both teams, you know, are very good. You know, you got good players on both sides and um, it's it, it's going to be like a massive fight, you know, to win this series for sure. Um, I don't see Boston sweeping them, you know, no, four that's games. Like, yeah, that's not gonna I, would, I would say it's definitely going to go up to six games or even seven at the most because... You know, they, they're they both just really good, you know, good performance. And, you know, but it's really Tatum and, you know, Kyrie and, you know, carrying both sides. And that's why I kind of went back and forth, you know. I mean, like you said, I think if Robert Williams was in it, then I think the Celtics would have a much bigger advantage over them. Because, you know, um, I forget how many years Robert Williams has been with the team now. He's been with them a couple years now. <clears throat> three, three years, I think. Yeah. yeah. But, like, when he first started, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, he's, you know, he's awful. Yeah, he he's like not that. good. But, you know, he's definitely, you know, practiced throughout the years. And, you know, he's in, you know, a lot better position than what he was back then. Yeah, and yeah. He's just really, really good. And I think if he does end up coming back, you know, whether it's game six, game seven, or the second round of the playoffs, I think the Celtics will be, um, and a much better advantage than any other team, or at least it's what I think, at least. Yeah, I think it's just, if the Celtics get past, past the Nets, I think the Celtics will be like the favorite to win, I think, the, 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 the championship. That's, that's my feeling. I know I know there's a lot of other teams. Is, just look at the, the 76ers who won big the other day. The Heat, the Golden the State. Buck, the Bucks had a, had <coughs> a good game last night, yeah, the too. Buck, yeah, the Bucks won. Um, you know, they, they both blew a big lead. Not, what about the Nuggets? Are the Nuggets in it? Yeah, they're all right. The Nuggets are good. I mean, there's a lot of good teams left. I just think 
if the Celtics can beat the Nets, I think that says a lot. I mean, it does. It's, the Celtics is going to help build their, their confidence. You know, saying okay, we just you know beat one of the better teams in the league without Robert Williams, and this guy comes back, we should be that, just that much better. Especially if they, have, you know, if hypothetical they if they beat the Nets and they go against like the 76ers, they need somebody to go against and be the division. They don't have anybody that can really handle him. So I think it would be a combination of obviously Tice and Horford and Robert Williams would have to defend him. And that's the only guys they get. Yeah. I mean, he's a tough player when really when he wants to be. And those times where he kind of doesn't play his full potential. Um, but if he really, you know, gets it going, it's, he's hard to stop. So that's something that kind of get ahead. They have to get past the Nets first. Yeah. And that's even if they do. And so. it's like, even though, you know, Daniel Tice, I mean, obviously who's filling in for Robert Williams, even, even though he only scored... Uh, four points in just 20 minutes last night. I think if it was Robert Williams in there instead of Tice, you know, he he definitely would have scored, you know, maybe 10, 10 points. Yeah, maybe. 10, 12 points. But it's, it's his, re, his rebounding and his block shots that did really, he's just he's just a difference maker when, he, when he's in. He's just yeah, a, he's really, he's <clears> definitely, <throat> you know, gotten so much better at that, you know, blocking key shots, you know, or, you know, getting a lot of rebounds for them, you know, that he's just a really fast guy. Like like when he sees the ball, you know, hitting that rim, like he like he gets in there and like he, he fights, you know, with everything he's got to take possession yeah, of it. He's really gotten better. Uh so I don't know, we definitely we've been checking I think game game two is Wednesday. Yep, maybe. tomorrow night. <clears throat> is it tomorrow night? Oh so Tuesday night. Yep. And so we'll be um at home. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, the Celtics do have home, you know, home court advantage. So I think that might might help them a little bit. So if they can pull off another win at, at home, I know they're going back to Brooklyn. They go side two two, but it definitely helps when you win those those first couple of games, yeah, even the first game at home. I mean, I think that definitely helps overall. So we'll see what happens because it's going to be hard because if they do end up winning game two tomorrow, they have to go back to Brooklyn for games three and four. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be hard because obviously you know now the Nets have home field advantage and and it's it's just going to be hard trying to close it out there. So I do think it's definitely going to be a heavy back and forth battle. Mm -hmm. But as long as as long as they can you know avoid the injuries, you know avoid stupid mistakes, like you know if they can just keep passing the ball, you know keep communicating, keep going to the to the hoop more, you know I I think they can pull pull this off yeah. and beat them for sure yeah so well uh, we're, we're definitely watching them you know this through all the playoffs see who wins this series see if, if well, i have no idea who's gonna win it's gonna be yeah. a big dog fight the whole so the whole series um so yeah i think that's gonna do it for this video yeah as always we appreciate you guys tuning in check out our video so hit that like and subscribe until next time